Okay. So who are you? Jeannie Orloff. Okay, and when did you start painting? Um, I was 68 when I got into doing watercolor. And uh, did you have any art experience before that? Not in watercolor. I did acrylic and it was all whimsical furniture and things like that, but not anything serious. So what made you want to paint? I had so much furniture piling up. I was selling it, but I had a lot of furniture piled up and I decided I needed something that didn't pile up quite so high. Uh -huh. So I did paper. Now I remember, cause I was there with you, cause I was your friend from like a million years ago, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, um, At least a I remember that you didn't think that you could paint or draw. Or oh you, yeah, you, oh totally, you, no, yeah. not at all. And I did get lucky and got a fabulous I was, teacher. I was gonna, yeah. you, asked, you answered the question before oh, I okay, asked sorry. it. I, she's gonna be impossible to interview. <laughs> See, I, told you. I didn't tell you, but I'm gonna tell you. All yeah. right, so. Um, would you uh, attribute much of your success as an artist to that teacher? Come all of it. 100%. Oh, what if you hadn't had her and you'd had another teacher? I had another teacher before her and she was horrid and I almost didn't do watercolors anymore. What was so special about her? And her name was Carol, by the way. Yes. By the way. Carol Fortner. Okay. And she, the other one didn't really demo or anything. She just put up a skeleton head or something and said, here, paint this. And so, I didn't even know how to start the painting, how to mix my colors up. So uh, she demoed each time. I know this. Carol did. I, because yeah. I took a yeah. couple classes and, and uh, she was yeah. great. Um, so did it cost a lot of money to take that class? No, it was at um, River Road Rec Center in Eugene. So now how long have you been watercoloring? 11 years. Wow. Already? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. We're going to look yeah. at your artwork You can here do the minute. math. She's old, like I'm, me. I'm a different level. That's why we're both on this channel. <laughs> it's a level. It's a level? Not okay, we're, we've leveled up way, <laughs> way, way, way uh, up. Okay, so if somebody wanted to be a painter or wanted to learn how to paint but really had no skills, didn't think they could do it, what would you, how would you inspire them? What would you say to them? I think I would say to start looking for a teacher but find one that you click with because there's teachers that do watercolor where it just kind of splashes onto the paper and then they find what they're going to paint after that. I personally like detail painting. So I clicked with Carol with that because she did detail. So it depends on what you want to do. If you want something real loose watercolor, then you find somebody that shows you how to do that. If you want detail, you find someone that shows you how to do that. Do you, um, how often do you paint now? Pretty much every day. <laughs> and I just got through doing a few things and now I don't know what to paint next. So I'm kind of in limbo right now. Now I remember you telling me many, many, many times that you can't draw. No. I can you still be a painter if you can't draw? Yes, definitely. And how does that work? Okay, so a lot of, by telling you this, there's gonna be a lot of snobs out there. <laughs> because my teacher told me so. <laughs> but I really don't draw very well. So I take an image and I trace it on tracing paper. Then I put it on my watercolor paper and then I paint it. And what I also do, which my instructor told me, always change it at least seven ways or it's not yours. Um, so no matter what you do, if you especially go to a place where it's, um, what's it called when, Copyrighted? No. no. What? Where it's an open, you can use. Uh, You're going to a place where it's. It's an open, is, there's no copyright on it. Okay. And you can look those up online. Okay. And so you can find roses and pictures and people and dogs and whatever you want to paint. And so you're not open really... Open source or something, or something like that. I know what you mean, but yeah. we'll figure it out. I'll put it in a title up here. Okay, good. So <laughs> you'll be saying, I don't know what it is, and it'll appear. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> we haven't known each other very long. <laughs> and so um, I mostly use those kind of things, and then I make sure I change it, but I don't draw. Now, I can draw a little bit if I want to change the picture. You know, I can put something else in it. But to sit down and draw, to me, that takes up all my time of painting. I want to paint. I don't want to draw. So if somebody says, oh, I can't draw, and so I can't paint, you can trace, and you can paint, and it's legal. 
<laughs> you can do whatever you want. It's yours. That's true. Yeah. That's my motto. Yeah. You can't have my motto. <laughs> and if it's not legal, are they going to send police after well, you? Well, they are now after this video. Yeah. <laughs> the art police. The art police will come and get you. But, um, right, you don't have to. I mean, I, I don't draw. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I thought this interview would take about like, I don't know, six hours to get you to say something that I wanted to, you know, use. And you've already answered all the questions and I've been here five minutes and I haven't even had my coffee. So oh. um, we're going to um, stop the video and then we're going to go in that other room over there and we're going to look at some of your art. Can oh, we? Sure. She'll do anything I ask her to do. <laughs> She's my friend. Okay. All right. Bye. No hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar jamás No quería saber nada más, nunca más Pero vos apareciste de repente Y me hablaste con una voz tan dulce que perdí la razón Y mi corazón, ay amor no te preocupes que yo siempre de quererte, de amarte y admirarte, ay amor. No te preocupes lo que siento yo por vos, es cada vez más fuerte. Yo pensaba que esto del amor ya se me había pasado y que no era para mí nunca más Pero el amor llega así, de esa manera Cuando uno menos se lo espera Se abrió la puerta y sin pensar dejas entrar El amor, no te preocupes que yo siempre Quererte, de amarte y admirarte, ay amor No te preocupes, lo que siento yo por vos Es cada vez más fuerte Ahora todo tiene sentido, esto es lo mejor que he vivido por si no lo has comprendido, me quedo contigo, ay amor No te preocupes, que yo siempre de quererte, de amarte y admirarte, ay amor No te preocupes, lo que siento yo por vos cada 